working in Australia. Most of you will be interested in finding out about employment opportunities soon after you arrive. Work has many benefits and it's an important part of life in Australia. It will give you independence and a sense of importance. It will also help you meet new people and feel part of the community. Finding a job No one is guaranteed a job and we all have to compete for work. You might not get a job in your field and you might need to study more before you can get your skills recognized in Australia. However, there are plenty of training opportunities and bridging courses you can do to help you get more qualified for work. Fatuma works as a waitress while she is training to become a nurse. Finding a job might take some time. Trust me, I know. If people find it hard to get a job, don't give up. Keep looking and keep trying. And remember that employers are after good skills with positive attitude and friendly, willing workers. It is more likely you will get casual or shift work in the beginning. Volunteer, casual or shift work will help you get experience. Employment Service Providers Employment Service Providers help people find a job. There are many things that they can help you with depending on your needs. While you are at Centrelink, a staff member will ask you a number of questions about your education, work history and ability to work. It is important to be completely honest about how much education you have completed and what jobs you have had in Africa, because it will help Centrelink to refer you to the most appropriate services. An employment service provider will give you the chance to participate in employment and training programs. It is important that you attend everything that they organize for you so you don't lose your Centrelink payment. There are lots of different job opportunities in Australia. This will be different depending on where you live. Employers often advertise for workers in newspapers, on the internet or through employment service organizations. And you might also find out about the employment opportunities through friends and other community members. The Australian Job Search website is a good place to look for a job. There are also internet kiosks available at Centrelink and employment offices where you can use job search. Resumes Chintaka Amarazinga works for an employment service provider. What you basically need when you apply for a job in Australia is you need to have a resume. Most important is the contact details along with the education qualifications that you have, employment history, then you can put skills, then at the end you can put reference. After you have sent in a job application, you may have to go to a job interview. Attending a job interview. Getting a job is very competitive in Australia and you will need to compete for the job with other candidates. Arrive on time, dress neatly and try to be confident during your job interview. Oh, thank you for coming on time, Daniel. Thank you. The job you applied for involves helping the manager know uh, how much stock we have. When you go to an interview, you may be asked lots of questions. It is a good idea to find out about the company offering the job to show interest and commitment. Oh, fantastic. Well, um, why don't we have a bit of a, a chat about some of your previous work experience? Yeah, 
Hi, Joseph. Hey, Danny, how are you, man? Uh, good, fine. Yeah. What are you doing here, man? Oh, I'm just running there for an interview. Yeah. Ah, you've got an interview? Yeah, man, I've got an and interview. And you're dressed man. like this and you're going for an interview? Yeah, man, what's wrong with this? Did you have a shower today? Oh, I had one yesterday, man. Hello? Oh, Daniel, hi. It's David calling from the office. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Look, I'm just ringing to let you know that uh, we'd like to offer you the job. Um, we think you'd be a really great addition to our team. Yeah, good, thank you. That sounds great. I'm happy for that. Okay, well, that's... that's okay. Working in Australia. The government sets laws on wages and working conditions, and these will vary between jobs. They determine the amount of pay, the hours to be worked, and working conditions such as safety, holidays, allowances, and training. If you are unsure about your rights at work, you can order free information or get confidential advice from the Workplace Info Line. Robert Lakovic is a legal advisor. People have a right to be free from discrimination in all areas of life, including in the workplace. So if you're being discriminated against in the community or in the workplace, then you've got rights and you should seek some legal help to get those rights respected. When you start working, you need to find out when you are expected to work. You need to go to work on time, and if you're sick and can't go to work, tell your employer. Your employer depends on you, just as you depend on your employer. Most employers will transfer your pay directly into your bank account. An amount of money will be deducted for tax. Did you know? Did you know that in Australia, men and women have equal rights at work and there are lots of different employment options? <laughs>